The corpse regards you lifelessly. Eternal glory ours. Absolute binds obedience. Breathe deep and move. My desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. Delicious. I do not know. The cruel and sharp, yes. Bindable and wrappable and biteable, yes. No time to rest. We need to find a way forward. I'll go this way. Never quiet. I have such a headache. I have to keep going. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? Fine. What's on your mind? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together, and it seems we have plenty in common.
What's next, I wonder? Onward then. What are you hiding? No time to waste. Still alive. So that's progress. Walk in death. Go ahead. I'm listening. Oh, would that I could. But your entourage is full. You'll need to make room for me first. Wonderful. Lead on, then. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Well, obviously I would. But you have so many followers already. I wouldn't want to crowd you. In that case, I'd be happy to tag along. Speak. Make space, and my might is yours. Ready for battle. Copper for your thoughts. No room in your party. What should I do? Excellent. Let's go. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? Crowded, don't you think? You'll need to swap out someone if you want me. Lead the way then. Well met. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. Let's make this happen. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. The world swims as you close, then reopen your eyes. How long have you been waiting here? A moment? A night? A ten day? Can 
Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. You are transforming. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Independent? Good. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Feel better, I promise. Never wanted the easy path. I had the strangest dream last night. Uh, there was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. 
Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? I had a dream last night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is, the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by a lithid worms. Well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones? Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess, in the waking world or otherwise. Fine. What's on your mind? I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Sounds like it. What did you make of it? Damn right. Things like a splinter. We just need to find a way to squeeze it out. Glick. I had a dream. As we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is gay deception. A wise choice. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed, not an opportunity to be exploited. My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. Not entirely sure what to make of it. In all my readings on the effects of a lithid parasite, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? Nothing wrong with maintaining a healthy suspicion in such matters. Still, it might be wiser to keep an open mind on the matter. Our visitors' promises of aid might yet bear valuable fruit. <laughs> 